the first thing we have here is a dome light for karma a dome light for redshift and the reason why i separate these two is because usually the light intensities are a little bit different uh, if you can turn on the xpu you'll see what this looks like right now with this current lighting it's at one in intensity and let's go to let's add here our render gallery take a snapshot of that and then the next one is going to be the redshift one and then you can see how bright that looks so in order to match the karma one we'll probably have to go let's see 0.5 probably a little lower 0.4 maybe there we go we got it closer so it's close to half a little bit less than half of the intensity all right so here we go and let's get started with the gobo so the first thing we do is create a light and in terms of karma, we're going to need a light that is a point light. All right. Let's switch to karma. Okay. Let's move our light. Let's also turn on spotlight here. You kind of see it. We need to bring the intensity up. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to see it. There it is. Okay. All right, so let's turn off the dome light just that way we can see the spotlight a little bit clearer. So how do we go about adding a gobo texture to this? Well, for Karma, we need to get a node called the Light Filter Library. All right, so we connect that down dive inside and we're going to search for gobo so it's called karma light filter gobo all right and in here we have texture inside texture we're just going to go into our library here that i've set up and we'll get a grid go back and here in the options all the way at the bottom we're gonna check box assigned to light and then we'll drag our light one into this and as you can see there we have it we have our gobo um, we can select our light here and move it around we can go into the spotlight and change the angle of it, change the softness around it. The other thing uh, that we can do, if, um, if the lighting here is a little too harsh from the texture, we can go inside light filter library and select it. All the way at the bottom says blur. And what we're gonna be doing is blurring that texture. So, you know, it's, it's a nice way to get um, some softness into your textures uh, and you know have it have it look more realistic all right so I mean that's a simple way to add it to the karma so now in terms of redshift it's a little bit different uh, we're still gonna use the same light all right and we'll go to redshift all right, so for redshift, it's a little bit different. Uh, let's disable our buckets, let's put in progressive, and let's duplicate this light right here. And let's go to the texture, sorry, to um, our type of light, go to rectangle, and in texture, we're gonna select our grid. All right, so this is how it looks in redshift. And if we wanted to do the blurring, um, unfortunately, we don't get that option. If we go to shadows, we go to softness, 
uh, doesn't seem to be working, even if we select softness effects gobo. Um, so what I ended up doing was that instead of having the texture uh, be directly imported here, what we'll do is uh, in COPS, we can create the same import texture. So we'll, we'll grab the texture here and then we will go into the light and we'll just drag it in here. And as you can see, nothing happens. And the reason we got to add our operator, so OP. And now we have that. So right now it's doing a transformation here. We can remove that transformation. Uh, unfortunately, anytime we make changes here, we'll have to do a refresh or restart render on Redshift. And there you go. Now we have that blur that we wanted. And if we wanted to add blur to the edges, we can do that here. The only two options that work in Redshift, unfortunately, it's the that I got working for the spotlight was angle and softness. And if we turn this off, as you can see, we have our texture right here. And yeah, and then that's pretty much it. That's the two different ways you can do it, the gobos and solaris with um, Karma and Redshift.